Let's see what she do, y'all. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Welcome back. Chuck's Daily Hustle, man. You know what it is. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Most definitely, you got to follow me on all the social media platforms. The links are in the description below. Smash that notification bell, man. It's right next to the subscribe button. That way, you can stay up to date with what I have going on, man. So once again, we are at a dealer-only auto auction, man. We are man at Mannheim, uh, Minneapolis, and we are going to check out the inventory, man. So I haven't checked in yet. Here, I'm at the security desk, man. We're about to walk in here real quick, get some cars. Um, I'm trying to find about like five to 10 cars that I'm actually going to buy. Um, and I think I'm going to be driving more than 20 today. So I don't know, man. Y'all just stay tuned. Let's get some content. It's a little chilly out here. You see the little snow on the ground. So it is cold and my hands are ashy with no gloves. So I'm going to see y'all in there. Here we are, y'all. Out here, found me a 08. A4 man, it's a Quattro. Somebody try to make the battery die. Let's see. Start this thing up. Cut this heat on, man. See, this is the problem when you're dealing with cars in in the winter in Minnesota. You gotta let these things defrost too. Oh man, it's cold. This is the real struggle, y'all. This is what I was telling y'all about. So now I gotta run over here to 106 or something like that. I'm looking for a different car. I'll let that one run. It look good though, y'all. That's most definitely on the list there. I think that's the 106 right here. This BMW. There's some more cars over here that I was looking at too. Oh, it's 103. So, so I think it's a 325 XI or something. I can't remember. Got 200,000 miles on it. Looks to be pretty cool when it is. When I tell y'all it's cold, it's an understatement. I gotta jump this joint. All right, let me jump this real quick. Get back in. We're gonna try to make this as quick as possible. Okay, so got it started now. Let me show y'all everything about it on the outside at least. So this joint is all wheel drive. Kind of hearing a little tapping. Oh, that door is locked. Pop this hood real quick. Might not necessarily be a... Uh... Actually, let's hit, hit the gas a little bit too. I don't know. Comment below. Let me know if you think that sounds like a motor. Like a motor tap or a lifter tap or whatever. I don't even know if these... Y'all know what I'm saying too damn cold to be thinking but let's see what it sounds like under the hood it might be just like a pulley or something I don't know. yeah i think it's just pulley i think it's one of the pulleys let's drive it let's see how it drives oh man that'd be the one thing like minnesota yeah we can drive the cars but it's so damn cold that is ridiculous. Like, I envy y'all down there, down in the South, man. Cause I was just telling my brother this, if they, uh, like if we had dry weather and being able to drive, man, I would be off the chain every day at the auctions. My brothers would be, I have a lot more people to help me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, that check engine light just came on too. So I'm gonna have to dry this joint and then I'm gonna have to see what that light's about. Most definitely wanna make sure you're checking your codes on anything foreign, y'all. Any German cars, most definitely wanna check that out. I actually sound like I know what I'm talking about today, huh, y'all? Nah. <laughs> nah, man, let me get over here. I got security right here. I gotta check in, get past this joker. Let's see what she do, y'all. That's another thing you want to just be careful on these uh tracks man because as cold as it is you got 
those uh, wet spots that could be black ice. You don't want to smash into these things, man. So a lot of y'all don't know anything about that because you ain't never seen no snow in your life. But that thing dried pretty good. I'm impressed with it so far. Of course, I'm going to run this joker right back through it one more time just because it's got high miles. It's going to be a bigger risk for me. It's a German car. That means more expensive repairs, more expensive parts compared to American cars. So, um, you know, you got to kind of, obviously, a lot of times I don't have all the answers, y'all. Um, I just kind of learn as I go. Um, and then I kind of like to stick to like the cars that I normally buy. That way I can be more, uh, more educated on the product that I'm trying to put on the market. So the more you buy a car, the more you're going to learn about them, the more you're going to know uh, what's a common, you know, problem that is going to occur with them. A lot of you dealers, y'all know that because y'all are in the comments below all the time. So that's why we started to do that. Um, what you think is wrong with these cars thing going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so anyways, back to this car. Let's see how she's doing it. This is a nice ride, man. And these, uh, these Beamers, I love them. Like, um, these 325s and 330, whatever, you know, 335XIs, as long as it's got that X drive in that joint. Um, I love them because they're like little tanks, man, especially in the snow. So just like for Minnesota, I love them. Um, not technically saying that the market loves them. So, um, don't just get stuck and try to buy stuff that Chuck bought, man. Y'all got to figure out what y'all like, because you might, I know dealers that sell way more than me. So don't think that I got all the keys. But anyways, man, this car is going on the list. I am rocking with it. I'm gonna um, check this check engine light out. And then I'm gonna also peek under that hood. Y'all will not be seeing that because it is too cold. My hands is freezing. Let's move on to the next one though. I lied, man. So you gotta know when to fold them, man. So this is, I looked, Googled this up. This is a crankshaft code. So that's why you heard that noise in the beginning when we first started up the car. When I was like, I don't know if that's a motor tapping or whatever. So um, we're not gonna rock with that. Um, and the crankshaft code is basically like a timing code, you know? So it can be crankshaft, camshaft codes typically mean that. Um, sometimes it's a little bit, it may be just a solenoid, whatever, whatever. Um, but I'm just letting you know what I believe on this car because of what I'm, what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that alone. Also, man, when I hit the vents, man, I smell a little oil. So um, unfortunately, we gotta move on to the next one. Hopefully this Audi is a little bit better. So let's see if that thing is warm for us. Okay, man, the Audi should be warm and ready. I didn't show y'all this side of the body, so let's get that for y'all. Looks to be pretty cool, man. So the tires look good. It's the S line. So that's got the better package. Let's get up in here. Let's see what the body, I mean, what the interior looks like. The interior seems to be cool mess with that heat a little bit. Got a little tape holding back that plastic piece. Back seat seems to be cool. Looks like they had kids, to be honest with you. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, the seats weren't that good in the back. But, woo, it's cold, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. Let me see. Let's see what we got going on. All right, so the heat, now the heat is all the way on. Let's see if we get this thing through the vents. And I don't feel the heat. Yeah. Let me go see if there's some coolant in there. If it's not, then we're just gonna go ahead and pass on it because I don't know if it's something simple or a heater core. If it's a heater core, then it's a pain in the A. So I'm not even gonna put that on the mechanics, but I'm not gonna put it on my butt either because I don't got time for it, I got no money for it, and I don't want to uh, get behind. So let's uh, figure this out real quick. All right, y'all, the coolant was all the way full. So I'm gonna pass on that one. Let me move on to the next car. I'm gonna see y'all in a second. Hey, if y'all if y'all um, have been on the channel, then you know I'm doing a little different. Reason why is it's not warm out there. So that's why I'm cutting in and out, looking at my list, because I, I can't be out there all day, man. Way too cold. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Looking at this Tucson, a little discolored on the hood. Let me check these tires out. Tires are bald. Check 
this interior out. A little dirty. It's a female car. It's got the pink. Ah, oh, damn dead. Man. Well, I tell y'all about Minnesota cold weather and batteries. Have to jump start this joint. Let me see. What we got back here. It's four wheel drive. Got a little bump back there. That's cool. All right. Let me get this thing started up real fast. Okay. Got the aftermarket CD player. Got 187 on it. One thing I noticed though, I don't know if y'all can see that, is that the oil change is like 10,000 miles overdue, man. All oh, the windows work. That's cool. Pretty sure the radio work. Let me just double check. Make sure. Uh, I don't know how to work that. I'm gonna do that on my own. All right, let's drive this joint real fast. See what she do. Show y'all some cars actually, instead of y'all just seeing what I'm doing. They got a, I think that's an X5 right there, the new one. HHR, another A4. Mazda CX-9. It's a lot of cars, man. A lot of potential, man. I keep on telling y'all this. Get in the game if you can. Go get this money, man. I hear some noise in the back. I don't know if y'all can hear it. I don't know. That could be the tires, though, because they bald. You know what I'm saying? Or it could be... I mean, it could be a couple things. It could be a, a rear differential. It also could be... Um, hub bearings just in general it's, I've even heard them be just uh, brakes and rotors so you really never know so it's a gamble if you're going to play them games but it might just be the tires it might just be the tires alright let me see see how she dry though y'all I am not a mechanic I'm a car dealer so stop being so hard on me nah <laughs> All right, this alignment is off. When I say off, look at that. I got rear um, rear or front struts that it needs. Um, we got the rear noise, so I'm straight on this. This ain't something that I want to be a part of. I'm not rebuilding no cars like that right now. I'm trying to get some cars that need like maybe a couple hundred dollars worth of work, maybe nothing. Like that's what I'm trying to stick to. So we straight. So um, I'm going to move on to the next one. Let's get it. Okay, y'all. Uh, 05 Chrysler Pacifica. Oh, I didn't even see the Lincoln. Most definitely got to start this up, y'all. I love these cars. Let this warm up. Let me show you this interior, actually. These is some decent cars. Sometimes these. Well, let's just start it up instead of me telling y'all what normally goes on with it. This was actually warmer than the Pacific. I'm going to take this. I'm gonna take the Legion first, y'all. Yeah, yeah somebody can drive it, man. I'm gonna let that. Damn. Zip the warm up. Winter problems, y'all. Woo! It's cold. This is real life. <laughs> real life problems, man. I don't really like making uh, uh, my video seem like everything's perfect, man, because it just kind of is what it is, you know? Try to let y'all see the whole process. Start this up. Let me open this door. Nice interior though, man. Nice interior, most definitely. These is good, good little trucks for the for winter, man. Here, all wheel drive. It's cost a little bit of money though. 07174. You gotta be ready to spend some money and sit on this one. But ah oh, shit, I'm willing to sit on this one. Definitely. All right, let's see. See how she drives, man. I've been looking. For, I'm looking for this little car. I saw a dealer driving it, and now it's gone, man. I hate when they be. And comment below, man, because I know a lot of dealers watch my videos. Um, comment below if y'all notice that people like to hide vehicles too. Um, I've seen people, um, you know, take the car all the way to the other side of the auction, lock the keys in the door. That way, nobody can drive them. Or they'll just lock it and take the keys with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just be like, what in the world is going on here? It's the most irritating stuff ever. Here's some more cars there, y'all. Those are the newer cars. More dealers out here. He cold like me. He know he is. 
Oh, he got gloves. At least he got gloves. I'm so unprepared out here for these winter streets. Man, go to Ford Row right there, y'all. Nice new stuff. Put the seatbelt on, y'all. We don't want to get in no crash. We don't want to do that. And I go out the window. Let's see. Let's see, man. Some security. Look at that. Some more cars. I think we're gonna be straight. Yeah, we good, we good. There's the security. Let's go. See how she dry. Oh, I ain't like that. I think y'all might have heard that too. But I'm gonna double check it though. We're gonna go back over the go back this way, hit it a little bit. I think that was second to third. I wasn't really paying attention. It might have been a little ice patch. Let's see. Go around this way one more and then around again. And I don't want no transmission issues. Nope, transmission is going out of there. So I'm straight, man. We're going to move on to the next one. Hopefully, we can find that uh, Lincoln that I'm looking for. Um, and then I'm going to drive that Pacifica. And then we're going to see what happens after that. I didn't see the scrape on the side, y'all. So, it is scraped. Let's see the... I think this door was locked. Yeah, it is. There. Let's go on this side. Better be all-wheel drive, too. This side look real nice. The tires is chunky, too. Locked the door. I think it's unlocked already. There we go. Let's see. Let's see how that back row looks. Yeah, that look cool. That's cool. This one ain't got the TV in it, so it's not all the way loaded up. Check engine lights on. Ah oh, man. And it's still cold in here. Cause it ain't warmed up yet. Let's see what this cold reads. Let's see if it's worth us driving, y'all. Well, that had a transmission code in it, so we're gonna leave that alone. That Lincoln is still not here, so I don't know what's going on. Let's see if we can find us another deal or something, man. Let's walk and talk. I wanna stick to what I want. I'm a little picky, man, I got a lot of cars. I honestly didn't see anything online, y'all. So I'm kind of uh, already like, man, I hate wasting my time. But this is a part of the job. Got to find the deals. It's a little Jetta. Oh, I think that was a small dealer selling that one. Let's see if it's four wheel drive. Four wheel drive. No. Need that be. All right, let me just keep on looking, y'all. If I find something, we're gonna get right back to it. Here go, another possible lick. 2010 Dodge Grand Caravan. Uh, 203 on it, start it up. Start it right up. Check engine light on? Check engine light on. Let's check that out, this thing dirty. Got the store and go seats. Got the TV. I don't know if y'all can see that. Check this check engine light. It says low tire pressure and then change oil. Just an EVAP code. We straight. So let's, let's definitely dry this one. Man, it's cold, man. I am not joking with y'all. Okay. literally hitting the gas to the flow and it ain't getting no power like that. Let's try it one more time. Maybe something's stuck right there. 
Hold up. See if y'all can see with me. Probably not. Let's see. Oh yeah. Man, this is a no go, man. So man, I gotta get I gotta cut this one short, y'all, man. I feel like we got enough videos that we drove today. Um, but my hands are super cold, man. I try to stick it with you, stick through it with y'all, man. Um, and that is that, man. I gotta focus on some cars and I gotta put this dang camera up. Um, that way I can uh, get to the money, man. So let's get some cars. I'm gonna get some cars driven and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue this vlog, man. So if you're not watching the vlogs, man, you need to tap in, you need to get down. And most definitely hit that subscribe button, man. And then once again, man, follow me on Instagram and all the social medias below, man. I'll see y'all.